Hi everyone, Apostle Joshua Selman will be sharing with us in this video on how Satan stole star in your life. In this video, he will be sharing on informations, powerful informations that can change your life, powerful informations that can also that the devil uses to make people's life miserable. So stay connected to this video and prepare to be blessed by this video production. Feel free to share the link to your family, friends, your relatives, your loved ones. And prepare to be blessed. Thank you so much and God bless you. I want to show you why words are so powerful. God protects it with his name and calls himself the word of God. God does not call himself... Um, the hand of God as it were, he names himself after information. If God names himself after information, that information created the heavens and the earth, something was said and suddenly made bones that were hiding to come out. Something was said that made bones that were dead to come back to life. Something was said that made fishermen to not be interested in fishing again. I can stop whatever you are doing now, not by fighting you. I only need to introduce something to you. I can move your life by information. I can stop your life by information. I can help you to be anointed by information and I can destroy you by information. No wonder the founders of some of the great conglomerates around the world today, their product, the advantage is the vast access they have to information. Google, Facebook, they are a threat today to national security. And the simple advantage is because they develop a psychological platform that compel the world to grant them access to information. To the point that the US government has to call them. There are several cult groups today and everything that is discussed in those cult groups are privy information. Are we together now? Greetings dear friends. Through the word of God we have come to know not only the nature and attribute of our creator but his magnificent plan for us. In the midst of our busy and fast-paced life, it becomes essential to nourish our souls and cultivate a vibrant spiritual life. Today, as we prepare to listen to this message that awaits you, the blessings of God are upon you. May you receive the wisdom to discern and understand beyond the spoken word. Kindly engage with us through the comment section below, sharing your thoughts and reflections. We encourage you to support our work by giving this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to stay updated for all our next messages. In your new year, welcome to our channel. We are glad you joined us. Thanks for subscribing. May the grace of God be with you, guiding your part and illuminating your heart. Amen. Let me share with you the technology of words. I want to show you, that's not the topic for tonight. I want to show you why words are powerful. I want to show you why information is powerful. So that you will understand that every time a word goes before you, it's not just a time to jump. It's a time to begin to prepare. Because Satan is coming after that information. This charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you wore a good warfare. I've sent you with an information. I've done my best. Timothy, hold that information and fight until you win. Let me tell you why words are powerful. Second Kings. I mean, not Second Kings. Ezekiel chapter 2. I sense a strong anointing in this place. Look up, please. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand up on thy feet, and I will speak unto you. Verse 2. And the Spirit entered me. Wow. When he spake unto me, and that Spirit 
the words just stop at my ear and the spirit continued the spirit started making my body to start acting in consonance with what was said now listen please that he wanted me to move from where I was to another place and he simply sent a word and when that word got to the gate of my ears it was not it, it had finished his work like a tray every other thing that entered me was no longer sound it was spirit and that when it entered me like a drug reacting to a patient have you swallowed a drug before and then you stand and the contraindications begin to work on you you start to feel drowsy and you are wondering remember you didn't ask the drug whether you wanted to be drowsy or not it entered you and started reconfiguring you I know your action by what you have received I look at your destiny and I can I can trace your victory or your problem to the presence of information what did God tell you your victory cannot be automatic so if what did God tell you in your conversation with him because in Genesis when you read Genesis chapter 2 it says now the Lord came the Hebrew word is the talking spirit the spirit that speaks the spirit that lives by speaking the spirit that changes a man's life by speaking now listen so for every word that is spoken there is a spirit the word spirit there does not just mean the Holy Spirit it means there is an energizing words and information carry energy they create a climate that compel action this is where religion and science both agree that words are powerful they are shapers of perception they are initiators of action words i write to you young men because you are strong and the word of god abides in you your strength is based on something you have heard and your victory is predicated upon a, a spiritual information supply there is a medical condition called brain damage there is also another medical condition called loss of memory it happens a lot with old people it's a state where because of whatever biological challenges you no longer have the retention power you can forget your wife your husband and medical people agree that is a dangerous state for a man to be in there are people watch this who all of a sudden especially the elderly after 60 70 years of living on earth it could even be a pilot it could even be a professor just two months something affects the bank of information and the man can no longer work his bones were not affected the information was withdrawn and he stands up and can no longer move and you ask him and say what is your name sir and he talks like a toddler the absence of information turned a man to a baby the technology of words words carry presence information carries energy whether they are spiritual information whether they are psychological information whether they are they are um, intellectual information that every time your the gate of your ears and your eye is open to information there is more that happens to you than awareness and enlightenment 
Ladies and gentlemen, now I want you to pay attention because I'm showing you a secret that is destroying our generation. I show you the reason why men never stay until they win. I show you a reason why very few people are victorious in this life. Do you know why? Because one of the worst things that happened to us on earth is a system that allowed the information to go uncoordinated. It's one of the worst discoveries. It is an advantage, but what a, it was a galore for Satan when that happened. There are still a few nations today. Now I'm not I'm not I'm not speaking political, but there are a few nations today that still have some level from an earth realm from some level of sanity a bit and the reason why those nations have is the dictators the leaders there work with the government to stop information dissemination is that true when you study um stories of men like adolf hitler who led the campaign wanting to make germany to speak about dominance there were chants and cliches that they continue to put it was on radio it was everywhere and all they were doing is indoctrinating the average german to believe he was superior and it worked he built an army not by recruiting men information terrorist groups today continue to recruit people not necessarily by force they propose information that can make a young man who is on his way becoming a doctor to suddenly turn and say i want to become part of a group and will be willing to die for it hmm. whoever told you information is cheap whoever told you information is simple where God names himself the word of God the information of God so every time words come to you here's the technology when a word is spoken or you come in contact with words or information the first thing that happens to you is your imagination is activated imaginations cannot be activated until there are words this is why words are dangerous words are the only instruments that have the power to activate imagery from where we get imaginations everybody look up imagine a yellow orange yellow orange big yellow orange now imagine that someone is cutting that orange with a knife are you seeing how whether you like it or not you are thinking what i'm saying you are not just hearing it i'm forcing your mind to move a direction by using the power of information now imagine a mother carrying a little baby imagine the baby trying to cry are you seeing how helpless your mind is provided the only way you can stop that imagination is to stop the information from reaching you but once it is there it has an ability that not even you can control again once it enters it's like a drug it starts to become an artist it paints images about God about life about Satan a little baby never believed that life can be hard till an information came he heard the father or the mother say Kai, this life self this life self and an image began to be created and that image listen it is dangerous because the moment an image is built your emotions are connected to the image the moment your emotions are connected to images creation begins immediately this is how things manifest please I want you to listen you would thank me for what you are learning today when the Bible says guard your heart with all diligence it knows what it's saying that means control the information that enters into your spirit man because out of it that information is not just words 
that information is not just speakings. That information is a potential for creation that can make or mar you. What Elijah is playing now is not just music. What he's playing now, they are words, they are spiritual information operating at different frequencies and because your tripartite nature was designed to understand this your ears may not know what he's saying but your spirit man knows that is the reason why they can use music to calm people down that is why when music was played a demon left Saul the demon had something that Saul did not hear the ear of Saul was not necessary. Just allow the string enter. When it gets to the realm of the spirit, it will change back to words and the spirit will know what is being said. Listen to me. Nations today have gone to war simply because of information. Whole territories have been annihilated because of information. There are people today in hellfire because of information who has believed our reports to that man the arm of the lord has been made revealed words carry spirits words carry energy and this is not some science nonsense i am telling you you literally can program your climate in less than a minute by the entrance. He said the entrance of your word give it light and understanding. That means show a confused man scattered in destiny. Just introduce the word of God to that person. And that's it. Your life will begin to reflect the information that you have. I'm saying this because, listen to me. Our generation is very careless over our minds. Our generation is very careless over the power of words. In ministry, in life, people don't seem to have regard for words. Words are powerful. Words produce effects. Words can make. Words can destroy. Words can heal. Words can cause pain. Words are powerful. And if you understand this, words create imaginations and they connect us to those imaginations. When Satan wants a cause to remain in your family, he does not say cause remain. He uses words, the word of a priest, the word of an elder, words that have come from father to grandfather. Now you believe those words and when you believe those words, they create images. You are emotionally connected to those images and you are loyal to what you believe. That is the strength of the altar. The altar sits on your emotional connection to those words. The day you stop believing those words, you are ready for the power of God to smash that thing. That's why when the Holy Ghost comes, he now tells you, are you not aware that there is another information? Esther, listen, her man came and requested the king to approve an information. And an information was stamped already and the death sentence of the people were waiting. They were going about every day. They did not know that they had finished killing them by information. Even when her man died, they were still in trouble because the real enemy was not her man. The real enemy was the information. Esther knew that the death of her man had not yet solved that problem information and so Esther went to the king and said do you know what you have to write another information that can give an upper hand to preserve my people it was at that Esther chapter 6 that the story ends with honor and glory information words that's what they call April Fool many of you do it People have collapsed because of April Fool. Others have died and no opportunity to tell them I'm joking again. Now watch this. You go to an ATM to withdraw money. Remember the ATM does not speak English. You are just using your eyes. 
withdraw for me 5,000 and the ATM says cash unavailable immediately that report depresses you you stand there a machine did not flog you a machine did not speak your language it only created an energy remember you are smiling the joy of the Lord is my strength bouncing to the ATM and suddenly because you punch and he said cash unavailable you start thinking this is how my life is it did not ask you to think that way while you are laughing take seriously what I'm saying mm -hmm. Satan waits until the information has been connected to your imagery then he comes he will create a system around it sit upon it and your doom becomes almost imminent this is the victory that overcomes what victory the labor in the spirit to protect the information it is real warfare and it produces real victory are you hearing what I'm saying now? There are, there are many of us here that are parents. Why do we prefer, now please, I, I, this is respectful with all my heart, but why will a parent prefer to carry a child to a mission school than an ordinary public school? It may not necessarily just be the standard. The parent wants to keep the child within a sociological sphere that regulates the quality of the information that is in the mind of the child. And to do that because it's not cheap, you will pay for it. That's the reason why a school where there can be people, there's no gate in and out. Anybody can lean on this class and suggest you can pay next to nothing. But there are people who pay millions per term on a child. And you are wondering, it is not only the knowledge they are paying for, they are paying for the atmosphere. Are we together now? When you go to Transcorp, or you go to any of these modern day hotels, you buy a cup of coffee and you can pay 5,000. Stroll 30 meters, 10 meters from that place, you will get the same coffee, hello, the same hot water, the same everything for less than 500 naira. So what did you really pay for? Because your access to that place can give you an information. You can be seated in a lounge when two millionaire businessmen are discussing and you will hear something that can be an advantage. You can be there when politicians are talking. So you are not only paying for tea, you are paying for the energy that you are receiving there. Why does Satan fight your coming to Koinonia? Did you hear the wonderful testimony of that, my dear brother? Why does Satan fight tooth and nail? He knows that it is not only the speakings of a man. That more than what you are hearing, there is a spirit. Please hear what I'm saying. Somebody testified that he got an alert. What did the alert do to him? Notice he had not verified whether the alert would be reversed. As soon as he saw it, he just started becoming glad. Watch this. A student stands in front of the board. He's coming with his friend to check his result. Glory be to God. I'm happy. We'll all be graduates. And he stands in front of the board. And in two minutes, he sees an information. Three carryovers. And that person is there. And for the next one week, he cannot become himself again because an information came. Imagine that while he's standing there, somebody just comes and says, sorry, it's a mistake. It was not your number. Watch, this. immediately he will change back. Now watch this. Look at how you are moving at the frequency of information. Like people who check admission list and don't see their names and they go back depressed and then they see a text congratulations say for what say you got admission say no you are checking your first name check your son name and you quickly check and that's your name immediately you start to dance the information did not tell you to dance it created an energy that supplied action are you getting what i'm saying now that means if words create imaginations that connect us emotionally to it, then we must guard the words and the information that comes to us.